everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here today with another installment to the What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2018 video series. Making selections quickly and accurately is undoubtedly one of the most critical aspects of efficient design, and with hundreds or potentially thousands of clicks every day, even the smallest time advantage can yield some really fantastic returns. So SOLIDWORKS 2018 has made selections even quicker and easier than ever before with the introduction of the Select Over Geometry option. What this does is it allows users to begin a window or a lasso selection on top of existing geometry so you don't have to begin in white space like I'm showing here. This is really useful when you're zoomed in close to a complex model. If there isn't any convenient empty space to start a window selection in um, or where manual selection is just very tedious. So we're going to take a look with this RV assembly. Now suppose from this view that I want to select multiple components. If I try a standard box or lasso selection, what you'll see is that when I left click, I'm actually selecting the geometry behind my target component. So I can't really do anything here. Now using traditional methods, how would you go about this? Well, you could either dig through the tree and try to find the components individually and do a control select here, or you could try to zoom out and find some white space, but that may limit your selections or cause you to make improper selections, so this can potentially waste a lot of time. So what can we do? Well, that's where Select Over Geometry comes into play, and there's a variety of ways to activate this selection tool. You can use the Tools drop-down, you'll find Select Over Geometry there. You can also use the Selection drop-down from the Standard Toolbar. There you'll find Select Over Geometry. If you do have access to white space, you can right-click and use the Context menu to find uh, select over geometry you will need to make sure you don't have anything selected and use the selection drop down here select over geometry or the default hotkey is the letter T so that can work as well this command can also be added to either your command manager context menus or even the mouse gesture wheel for faster access so let's see how this behaves once I turn on select over geometry I can begin a box or a lasso selection over existing geometry and the selection be behaved just like you would hope it would. You can also use the control key to combine selections. So you can make selections of multiple components here where you wouldn't be able to do that um, in previous versions. So this can be really helpful. Once your selections have been made, of course, you can carry out any commands as you see fit. And it should be noted that as soon as a command is activated or the selection is lost by deselecting it, you will need to um, use select over geometry again. You'll have to reactivate it in order to get that behavior. All right, but really helpful tool. Uh, it should be noted that Select Over Geometry is not exclusive to assemblies. So this could also be pretty useful for making selections of faces, for example, in complex parts or in other areas of SOLIDWORKS. And this is just one of many enhancements this year. So be sure to check out our What's New series for additional blogs and videos on all the new features that have been included in this year's release. For more information, check out our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, give us a like, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.